Good morning. Today is um, today is Wednesday, June twentieth, um, two thousand eighteen. Um, outside of the um, this light on. I'm outside of the Dallas Makerspace. Did I get it? Uh, well, it's not too good. Focus is not too great, but that's the most of Dallas makerspace. Um, like I said, it's about 4:20. Um, I got up this morning. Yes, yeah, 2:30 or yeah, it was 2:30 or 2:35. Uh, yesterday was kind of rough. Um, after lunch, I started feeling sleepy, um, but I got through the day pretty good. Um, this morning was rough getting up too. Uh, but by the time I get up, I um, I could do a workout. The morning that's what things it takes me. Um, Probably the biggest part of my mornings, I do a morning workout, and then after um, I incorporated the end of the workout a judo or jujitsu technique. Um, this morning was judo. Uh, I was working on um, uh, Osotogari. Um so I'm working on that. I'm watching this uh, video on YouTube, Red Diary. So I might spend like 10 minutes, you know, after like a 20-minute workout, I might spend 10-15 minutes watch. 10 minutes watching the video, then a few minutes practicing the techniques. So that's um, a good chunk of my morning. So that, so I'm really, but I'm really trying to get, um, no, let me turn the light on. I'm really trying to get deeper into um, Jiu Jitsu uh, and Jiu Jitsu, getting the techniques down so I can show it to other people. So that's one thing I'm incorporating in my morning. I have more time. Uh, and also, I was uploading some videos. Sometimes I just want to upload some videos to YouTube um, because that's something I haven't done for a while. And I do that because I want to do a video blog. Not that I expect anyone to watch them, but in case anyone ever asks, like, okay, what was your journey? Like, oh, you know, was it easy? It's like, you know, here's like 150, 200 videos of me going through the process of, of, of trying to build my business so the evidence is there so you won't say oh you know it, just, it was easy you know, there was a lot of bad ideas a lot of rejection a lot of attempts so I wanted to put that on the record and um, the final thing is I do a um, thing I was thinking about on my way here is I do a, a chapter from memory in the Bible today it was Philippians 4 and in verse 9 it says um, when, you th when you remember the things you've received um, and learn, seen and heard. Um, this is Paul talking. Put him into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. And I'm thinking about peace, and how do I get peace um, in my life and my business? And I was thinking just to um, eliminate or lower the expectations, um, because it, I have conflict because I'll do stuff for people, and then they don't respond in the way I think they should, and I'll be. I won't have peace with it. It bothers me. And I realized, like, I just sent something to someone. It was a custom-made design. had their name on it. They're um, at, a, at a very large um, school. And, um, you know, they're in a position of, of influence. And I sent it to the person. I reached out to the person on Facebook, and they liked it. And I sent it to them. And I, a couple of days went by, and I was like, hey, did you get it? Like, yeah, I got it. Thanks. Really nice. Made my day. I'm like, that was it. And that's fine. Like, the problem is on my end. It's my end. Is I'm thinking, hey, you know, how much is it? You know, I'm going to show it to some people. I think this would be great for blah, 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 you know, an award, a banquet, you know, something, you know, for our sports. You know, I would expect, you know, I was just kind of hoping for that. But it's like, no, you don't. You made the person date. That's good. And even if you didn't, even the person never responded, you know. I really can't be upset because married a person is generally a rude person who doesn't care <laughs> or maybe they didn't like it. Or maybe they got other stuff going on in their life. Maybe they have death or illness or, you know, something happened to their kid or maybe they just maybe they got fired. You know, stuff happens in people's lives. So even if I never heard from this person again, I have to be at peace that I did the right thing for the right reasons. And I think I struggle with peace because I didn't, if I don't do it for the right reasons, like, oh, 
I'm doing it because I need something on the back end. I need the doors open up because, you know, this person's at a big school. So I can, you know, that's a thousand, you know, it's at least 150 to 100 orders for the same thing. So at, at this cost, and, you know, you start doing the math and like, man, that was really good. If I do every year, and you start getting ahead of yourself. Like, no, you did it. You're good. And um, I think that's the story of uh, Joseph uh, in jail. And he's interpreting dreams. And he's like, hey, remember me when you get out. Okay, you no, know, was it the uh, the butler gets out of jail, returns to his position under the king? And I think two years goes by before he remembers. And J Daniel's got to wait two years in jail, <laughs> wow, till he's remembered. So I'm planting seeds. I'm a farmer, not an entrepreneur, so I'm planting seeds, um, and with the hope and belief that eventually it's gonna it's gonna, if not in that area, something else. You know? But you're just planting seeds, and not every seed is gonna produce a crop. But I did the right thing for the and and I did the right thing and for me to be at peace I have to do it for the right reason. So that's kind of my morning thought. Um, got some cool things to do today. When, um, and I'll check in later for about that. All right. It's uh, 4:26. Time to go to work.